Wadau, how will it be manze it has already been this is John Duty manze kwenye life maju na John mentupa manze hata hakuna msi ananijulia hali hata mjamo ajua pia mimi nimewatupa lakini manze siko ubaya me at least i have an explanation siko na check dingangu hapo nyuma karibu ni nyuri bro karibu ni zidi manze nimepiga meditation siku mbili tatu Eh bado ni kopa tu gari kopa parking sijai um, nangoja insurance waniambie vile nita organize nipeleke garage wanifixie but uh, for the last two days nimekuwa nikifikiria manzee karibu vile ni daddy manzee yenyewe life ni short bro life ni fupi hata ni wapigia story vile kulikuwa ah uh, nilikuwa natoka nilikuwa natoka ohio so from ohio to virginia ni around around 300 miles vile nilikuwa na drive na nilikuwa nilikuwa nimepigia safari on a friday alafu nilikuwa narudi on a sunday on a sunday evening so what happened i think tu ilikuwa uchovu na unasikia gama nzee maisha inaweza badilika within within a minute within a second life inaweza badilika i i got uh, i was involved in a in an accident a minor accident but ilikuwa ikuwe genje sana So the reason nimepoteza masiku kutoka the last post ni kwa sababu your accident shook me like niliona kifo manze na macho juu if situation ingekuwa tofauti kwa hiyo road mimi sasa isingekuwa hapa so part of it kwa pigay story pia ni kusema yenyewe mtu wangu appreciate every moment eh? take those record those memories ndio life ndio watu ndio dunia ijo ulikuwa hapa manze kitu ikabadilika leo usiwe live na regrets So ilikuwa aje um, nilikuwa natoka Ohio niko na, na iko in between states Pennsylvania hapo hivyo ilikuwa around saa saba usiku road ilikuwa safi uh, but kulikuwa kumenyesha ali around like three hours three hours ago kulikuwa kumenyesha so road ilikuwa tu salama kabisa kukuwa na mambo mengi um, apart from matrela ni nini ni, but si na speed so the thing is i worked uh the whole day 12 hours um on saturday and 12 hours on sunday na nilikuwa nime drive nilikuwa nime work on a friday before niende nilikuwa nime work overnight on the thursday kwa mkia friday nika doze kidogo nikatoka virginia at around noon so siko nimepumzika fiti nika drive 5 hours to ohio Tras kupo mzika fiti nikarauka tena saa 2 sando nikapigizo 12 hours 12 hours sande nikatoka uh, Ohio kitu 6 jioni on a sande so you, you can you can picture hiyo uchovu ya siku kaa tatu ina na the previous week ilikuwa niko kwa mabak, ma, back to back to mamboka mboka so what happened nilikuwa tuna ile uchovu unaisikia kwa mbali but una ignore to because you gotta do what you gotta do si ndio um Pennsylvania be, because when I'm in between states some, sometimes when uh, kwa same gani ka mimi when you're driving say from one state say I'm driving from Virginia to Texas says ngine sijuagi niko wapi I don't know my location says ngine ju unless tu nione kibao imeandikwa welcome to uh, welcome to state gani Alabama ndio nitajua niko Alabama but when niko tu kwa highway miss juni kwa wapi so ndo nijue niko Pennsylvania ni after your accident on the google my current location nilikuwa nasikia tuko usingizi kidogo 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 at some point manze nikalemewa kabisa nikasimama kando ya barabara tu mali kuna resting area nikalala hapo for i think nililala for almost 30 minutes ile nika take nap nikapata power nap kidogo nikarauka tena nikaendelea so at around 1 am nikipitekio power nap ilikuwa around 11 around 1 1 am nilikuwa nimeanza kulemewa kabisa but sasa gari yangu inakuwa gana lane assist na gari mbichi siku hizi gari mpya siku hizi ziko nayo kitinaitwa lane assist what lane, the lane assist does is uh, inakusaidia gari ukiwa kwa lane uh, ukitoka kidogo if you swerve kidogo outside the lane uh, inakwambia inakuwa inalia ti 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 inakwambia urudi kwa barabara sasa inaanza kupiga makelele inakwambia urudi kwa barabara so nilikuwa nasikia tu hiyo lane assist every time every time uh, like after every five seconds because na shonga nina lala ninaamka niko tu in between alive <laughs> alive and dead because i was so sleepy ah uh, nasikia tu lane assist but imenisaidia mara mingi sana mara mingi hata sasa you, you you are you get distracted kidogo ukitoka tu kwa barabara kidogo inakusaidia but i think kwa sababu gari ni mashini na yu choka at some point 
I slept sana nika lose control of the vehicle baka lane za sister siku isikia because nilikuwa no singizi mingi or uh, or ilichoka tu na gari ikatoka because lane assist kilia hivyo uh, steering wheel ni zile power steering wheel like ni automatic steering wheel itajirudisha kwa bara, itajirudisha kwa kwa road so unapata most of the time you can never swerve outside outside the road and even if you're sleepy or you get distracted if the car moves uh, away from the main highway most of the time it usually comes back by itself so i honestly don't know what happened either the vehicle gave up and went outside outside the road or or me mwenye ndio siku sikia hiyo lane assist na steering vile power steering vile lijivuta hivi ndio irudi kwa barabara maybe nikaishika na nguvu hii kuweza kurudi nilishtukia mtu wangu tu like nile tu i think tu ni Mungu aliniamsha because like i think when you almost <laughs> mzee sikia kwa kifika hivi mimi naona kama unaionaga sikia kwa kunyuri ikifika i think unaionaga because what happened is nilikuwa nimego sana nimego nimeshonga kabisa na nangangana i'm like one hour at to place nilikuwa nataka nende ni rest so nangangana kabisa nifike location fulani ni hit miles fulani and what's my tractor wanaweza kueleza hii story nilile nilishtukia hivi mtu wangu mbele yangu niko na you know these rails zinakwanda zinakwaga kando ya barabara hizi rails hiyo na hiyo rail ilikuwa on my right na unajua wa mayolo tuna drive hivi on our right right tukienda hivi una drive una drive on your on your on your right most of the time hata kama ni one way road ilikuwa one way uzuri gari zote zilikuwa under the same direction so niko on my right na hiyo rails ziko on my right hii side nyingine hakuna kitu na niko hiyo line ya line ya mwisho kabisa ya, ya right kwa sababu nilikuwa nacheza 60 miles an hour 60 miles ni equivalent to maybe 100 kilometers an hour si mpio sana huku mayolo gari zinakimbia gadi 160 kilometers so 60 iko fit So nilishtukia mtu wangu amface ni orela ana kwa ana ina kona. Nikanyonga mtu wangu and then I think what causes accident mingi is abrupt braking. Kama hiyo gari ningepiga brake emergency ninge roll because the road was slippery. Alafu nilikuwa naendelea in opposite direction. So what I did nilinyonga tu kidogo hivi alafu inakuwa ga braking what causes most accidents ile msie ku roll ni instant brake na instant maneuver of the steering wheel. So what happened I moved steering kidogo hivi na nikanyonga pole pole ukasikia hiyo gari na struggle nilili struggle you can feel like tires nataka kwenda opposite side na mimi nazangangana nazo ziende hii side nyingine hadi ka change sauti like hiyo moment niko zile za cam oh nimengangana nao sasa iko na nguvu juu nimeamka in the midst karibu na impact so kwa ile harakati ya ku save nikasiona gari sasa ina slide towards my left but i'm trying to save it from rolling over because if the car ni may swerve hivi mara moja na nimekanyaga brake inataka ku slide towards my 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 left na nikubali the thing inakuwa gata hazi naenda gazi nabadilika zina turn towards the opposite direction and then sasa hivyo ndo gari you roll so mimi i'm trying to maintain it ishike barabara yaangalie kwenye ilikuwa inaenda hivi na inangangana ku slide huku ika slide ika slide hadi mwisho hadi nikasikia nimekanyaga pavement niko nje sasa kabisa nasikia sasa hapa hivi nimego nimego so nikashika tu ta nikashika tu staring mzuri tu hivi nikasema hapa sasa ni bad bad wacha kaende vile kataenda nikaingia kwa kipot hole tu nikasikia kigari mtu wangu ime rise gari ka rise hadi juu hivi karudi chini sababu bado mafuta niliachilia kitambo na brake nikaachilia just at that point singe ningekanyaga brake sana inge roll kabisa so vile nilisikia tu imekanyaga pavement nikaachilia brake na nikashika tu steering wheel lakini sasa speed imecheza hapa 40 miles an hour maybe 35 basta juu ile momentum ilikuwa nayo ilichapa hiyo kipoto hole hivi gari ikarise nikacheki tu hood ya gari kwa hapa juu hivi sasa so, imeangalia juu alafu ikarudi chini kurudi chini ikaenda ikachapa tena pavement nyingine si pavement concrete pavement tu ya mchanga nikaa kuna kamlima hivi so your story nimekupigia ndo nikuoneshe vile vile za kulienda na hii uh, uh, eventually nilienda nikakanyaga tena brake gari ikasimama saa vizuri nikaka uh, nikaka neutral na nikakanyaga brake sasa nikaisikizia nikaisikizia alafu uh, the reason nili nilipata reprieve kidogo nikafurahi because after gari imesimama siku sikia zile maalam juu gari kikuwa gari tu nika iko na soul gari kiumia sana ndani unasikia gari twi twi 
tiba ma, ma hazard zinaanza kupiga ma wipers zinaanza kuenda like unapata gadi ndani imeanza ku ina respond towards the impact na ni moyo role na gari tena nikiwa i think nilikuwa gafom 2 na ukipata impact big na gari you realize ma wipers zinaanza kuzunguka ndani unasikia pipi ma airbags zinatoka but that was not the case gari linyamaza tu but nikasikia na guruma differently nikasikia uh, sauti yake kugurume badilika so i didn't know what was wrong I mean ni kachapa rivers nikageuza kidogo sasa kulikuwa niko kwa kamlima slanted kidogo hivi nikachapa rivers nikanyonga nikanyonga nikarudisha gari kwa road pole pole niko peke yangu sasa hizo sizo hakuna msiako kwa hiyo highway it's 1 am nikanyonga gari sizo nimeamuka sasa niko macho mtu wangu kifo nilikuwa nimeiona hivi sasa niko rada nikanyonga gari pole pole i did not even check vile tu gari liingia kwa road tu hivi nikasikia ni speed pole pole ma mchanga zinaenda na manyasi zinaenda zikianguka anguka kaka kaka ai after like 200 uh, meters nikasikia tu gari imeanza tu kuenda fit na accelerate gari na tu fit nika join ni kwa sawa bus i did not even want to check the impact at that moment na siku si mama mimi nikaendelea ku spin nika spin nika spin nika spin hadi mtaa so kufika mtaa ndo nikaangalia sasa impact vizuri what happened manze nikashukuru god tu nimefika fit So let me give you a sneak preview of uh, your explanation what happened. When I rolled initially um I mean no when I when I swerved initially I think uh unacheki hapa hivi unacheki ident ident iko hapa kwa hii corner hii Hapa vile nili roll initially um uh, I think this was the first this was the first part to hit the 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 road I mean the 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 car buko nje hapo kwa after nime miss barabara this part ndio ilikuwa ya kwanza yeah so when when nili swerve nikatoka kwa barabara i think ndio ilikuwa part ya kwanza kugonga ndo gari sasa i rise ikuje juu ni part ilikuwa ya kwanza kugonga and then if you can see hapa chini if you can see hiyo ni impact hizo ni mamchanga hizo zote ni mamchanga hiyo ni chini ya gari sasa as you can see yote ni chini ya gari hiyo So kwenye unaona hizo mamchanga hapo chini ya gari ni kama vile vile nili nili hit hiyo kab gari karaise kidogo ile ende ka hit kab ingine. so hapo chini kwenye nimekuonesha kukagonga kamlima gari karuka hivi juu bro so the in, in, in effect angalia namba plate yangu manze namba plate yangu ikagonyoka <laughs> yeah ili inakuwa inafa mostly kwa straight mostly it's supposed to be straight but ikaingia na ndani ni kama hiki kibampa kiliingia ndani so in effect that what that that did ibampa yote iko affected because as you can see hizi spaces zifai kukua and i think ndio inafanya gari gurume differently kwa jina sikia brrr nasikia yani nikigurumisha nasikia kisauti tu fulani kenye si legit nika kuna kitu haijanyamaza vile nafaa kumenyamaza na hii nafaa kuwa straight He side luckily haiku affectika apart from me space hapa yenye unaona he he side haiku affectika but as you can see bumper ilitoka kidogo but impact kubwa impact kubwa ilikuwa this side maana sasa hii hii bumper yote itabidi me replace you or something hii yote hii yote hii yote imetoka but the good thing ni um as you can see hapa Jiko na hii nini yake haka kitu kama maji iko intact hizi vitu ziko intact at least haziko affectika hizi hizi ni vital i think hizi ni vital parts of the car but hii bumper hii side hii yote ile affectika yeah what i learned from your experience kidogo ni first of all ndio maana mimi napenda gari kubwa napenda gari ziko juu tunajua mara mingi kwa ki very careful na nikajipata ina situation that yenye ni na have ku save my life gari iko juu kidogo itaniokoa kwa sababu itanisaidia na impact kama ingekuwa ni gari ndogo gari iko chini like this small small saloon car hiyo gari kwanza mbele ingesha kabisa according to that impact mbele ingesha kabisa there's a possibility lights zangu another advantage hakuna mataa zimearibika like hadi hadi hii Uh, what is it called hizi za snow hizi za fog fog lights hadi hakuna kitu iliguzwa but ingekuwa ni gari ndogo hizo fog lights zote zingekuwa zimeisha 
there, there would be a possibility ya uh, windshield kwa imeisha so that hiyo ndo man napenda gari kubwa like i actually was thinking my next car nitabai tu ki pick up nitabai tu ki, ki truck kiko juu kwa sababu the higher the vehicle the the more safety i think so there is a more safety feature in in terms of some 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 accidents so mtu wangu hii na kama ina as we speak sasa hii na kama ina ni na kitu kidogo but i'm telling you hii gari niliona ya hood hapa juu na hiyo impact vile nili feel too hivi na kama singe swerve ningeenda nipige hiyo rail ningepita na hiyo rail na unajua ni ya chuma maybe gari yote mbele ingeisha na i don't know what would have happened next moral of the story ni nini bro mi karibu ni zidi karibu ni zidi kwa highway on a 1 am pennsylvania mtu wangu karibu ni nyure sasa ninge kwa kwa news mbona siku ile kijana wa youtube alifanya nini Ali, kila mtu ata dead eventually lakini sasa ninge kwa na sikia ni dead kwa 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 road mahali nikitoka mboka mahali moral of the story mtu wangu pumzika kama una spin wasa ingwa na shinda mesema oh don't drink and drive oh don't nini hizo ni ni overrated si kila mtu mwenye ana anakuwa involved kwa accident anakuwa gamlevi kuna kitu kubwa si u overlook usingizi rest is very important kwa sababu umeka position moja na kushonga dakika moja it's one minute hivi una miss barabara na umeenda number two, manze pigia wale wasi wote ni important kwako wa ma, ma, marafiki wa familia waambie unawapenda waambie unawafikiria jua ujui moment yako ya mwisho kwa hii world itakuwa ja ujui like umesikia uh, ni nani usema hivyo ni breeder breeder ndio usema manze kifo haina kifo haina hodi bro eh na bado kifo ibishagi hodi bro haikwambia kiki come na hiyo tu moment ilifanya manze nikakuwa na ile deja vu ile moment of reflection manze kuona ninge nyuria hivyo mtu wangu na man nikusema tu niko grateful kukuwa hapa na moral of the, of the story ni Shukuru saja kwa uhai na live like today is your last day otherwise nimerudi sasa niko nimerudi na ubaya gari na ngoja watu bado watu wa insurance wani sort nafikira kama i hope watanipea i hope watanijenga inaitwa nini rental watanijenga ka rental nitumie tumie ju sasa hii obviously my deductible ni 500 dollars deductible ni ile yenye you have to and you have to spend kama ijapita expenses like i think my first car windshield ili aribikaga na windshield ilikuwa 500 so my deduct nika nikajilipia hiyo kwa sababu haikuwa over 500 but kaga gari imeribika over 500 dollars now insurance watakujenga i think bumper ni over 500 if i'm not wrong uh, ku replace your bumper yote i'm not sure if kama watakubali kama watakubali kunipatia rangi i'm not sure but maybe maybe waja respond bado but nangoja tu cha muhimu ni nini bora uhai tuko hapa manze na sajani mfiti tell all those people that you love tell them that you love them show them appreciation um, support them or the way you can and be honest be a good person and you know what give thanks to ja for an, another opportunity to see this beautiful day life maju inarudi very soon green card 101 inarudi very soon nafikiria mtu wangu friday ma friday ikuwe siku za siku za siku za kamba show you know nafikiria manze hii hi channel ya john duty tuipige tuipige design gani kukwenda siku za sheng kukwenda siku ya kizungu legit mambo yetu ya ndo to capture hawa watu wanasema waelewi lugha mtaani na kutukwena pia Uh, vernacular she excuse wa se wa msie sasa wa se wa, wa mta sasa yani watu wa machakos <laughs> to machakos due to public demand ni wanaesha kasemu ingo vile kanacheza ka hako but in the meantime manze keep it locked and um, all the best pray for me i'll pray for you and just know that uh, you don't have forever hauna forever eh? Forever is now. Whatever you need to do, fanya sahi usilalishe mtu wangu. Inshallah mashallah adios. Shukran.